So we are located at the Delphi Economic Forum, and we have the pleasure to be having a conversation with Mr. Ramon Asmasis, the Vice President for uh, Financial Affairs and Anti-Illegal Trade from ZTI. Uh, Mr. Masses, welcome to CNN Greece. And uh, I'd like to ask the, your opinion and your in input on anti-tobacco illegal trade situation globally. We understand it's, it's getting bigger and it's turning into a scourge. So what is your input on this one and how optimistic are you regarding the future? Well, first of all, thank you for having me. Uh, the problem with illegal trade is uh, that in most of the cases it's, it's a hidden factor. Uh, there are just a few estimates uh, which can tell you the financial impact of illegal trade. And the International Chamber of Commerce, as an example, sa says that it's around $4 trillion, uh, the size of the illegal trade uh, annually, which is, uh, to compare, similar to the fourth largest economy in the world. That's a huge amount of money. So. Why is it important? I understand it's hugely important for the global economy, but what about the consumers? What, why is it important for the consumers themselves? Why is it hampering them? Well, consumers should realize when buying illegal products, they are not uh, tied to any rules, uh, neither safety nor health. So they are in the hands of someone who produced uh, the product irrespective of any standards. So this is the first thing. Second, illegal uh, product uh, is not in the economy. Yes, it, There is no revenue paid, not collected by government. Uh, I'll give you an example. Illegal trade in cigarettes in Greece, in this market, uh, takes away from government around 500 million euros per year. It's a massive amount which can go to different needs of the society, for the schools, for the hospitals, for the roads. Uh, and consumer who is buying illegal product in most of the cases is depriving those revenues from the government. And my understanding is that also this uh, amount of money is fueled to highly, <laughs> highly illegal activity, be it terrorism Correct. or other uh, such aspects. So Correct. that's another issue, right? Yes. Uh, if, when people buy illegal product, uh, unharmful in a way, take a cigarette. Nobody thinks it's a, a big, big problem. Uh, however, as the route for the illegal cigarette to go from cheaper country to more expensive is established, you know, through customs, somebody bribed a, a custom official, uh, somebody you know, sold it in a, in a shop. When those routes are established with time, they can be used for many other more serious uh, products to be smuggled, be it weapons or narcotics, uh, sometimes even human trafficking. Therefore, we encourage governments not to look so simple at all the elements of illegal trade. Uh, they are all intertwined uh, from very innocent products to very serious ones. Uh, criminals are always looking for the margin and they will be exploiting all those routes uh, depending what brings them more profit. And do you believe that the current financial situation of the rise in inflation has played a role in sifting in a way some consumers to uh, illegal uh, absolutely trade. absolutely the illegal product is always cheaper that's how it goes that's why criminals are bringing it and the one who is having less money is eager to buy illegal product however it's a short term view uh, and uh, government should put a lot of effort to to fight such a thing first of all there shouldn't be high tax increases which are increasing legal product prices yes? uh, in times of difficulty, government really should think, do we want to increase price for consumers on legal products, first of all? And what are initiatives have you undertaken by yourselves or together with the government, both in Greece and on a more global level, to fight the scourge? Well, uh, our product is highly impacted. I mean, we're on the legal side of the business. And when we see that certain product is going on the legal side, we are losing. We are losing, so is government losing, therefore we monitor. And we uh, collaborate with government on information sharing. So whenever we see that certain products are moving illegal way, we inform uh, government. We also give support in terms of equipment, uh, in terms of knowledge, uh, uh, how to identify certain illegal products. Uh, for example, with Greece, uh, last year we signed a contract with customs um, for five years 
exactly to share intelligence, uh, to train the officials, and also to raise public awareness around the topic. Thank you very much. Thank you so much.